In Lincoln's inaugural address, delivered on March 4, 1861, Lincoln stated how he did not have any intention in ending slavery where it stood. Lincoln's statement, however, did not satisfy the Confederacy. And on April 12th, the Confederate troops attacked Fort Sumter, a federal stronghold in Charleston, South Carolina. Federal troops returned the fire. The Civil War has begun. President Lincoln insisted that the war was to preserve the Union and nothing to do with slavery. His words were not aimed at the loyal southern states, however, to the northerners who most were not interested in fighting to free slaves or in giving rights to the black people. For this reason, the government turned away African American volunteers who rushed to enlist. Lincoln upheld these laws from preventing blacks to fight in the war, providing to northern whites that their race privilege would not be threatened. There was an exception, though, that African Americans were allowed in the Navy. Still, many African Americans wanted to join the fighting and even continued to put pressure on the federal authorities. Even if Lincoln was not ready to admit it, blacks knew that this was a war against slavery. The federal government had a harder time deciding what to do with the escaped slaves from the South. So on August 6, 1861, fugitive slaves were declared to be contraband of war. If found to be a contraband, they were declared free and put in contraband camps. By 1862, Lincoln was considering emancipation as a necessary step toward winning the war. The South was using African Americans as an aid in war effort. In the meantime, the North was refusing to accept the services of black volunteers. In addition, several governments in Europe were considering recognizing the Confederacy and intervening against the Union. If Lincoln declared this a war to free the slaves, European public opinion would definitely back the North. In 1862, the Emancipation Proclamation was declared stating to either surrender or the slaves of the South would be freed. Frederick Douglass stated that this was just the beginning of the end of slavery and would put a moral bombshell to the Confederacy. The final emancipation was on January 1st of 1863. With it, Lincoln officially freed all slaves within the states or parts of the states that were in rebellion, but only in the South. This left one million slaves in Union territory still in bondage. The final emancipation also allowed black men to enlist into the army. Many African Americans rushed to do so. But even in the army, African Americans were treated horribly being paid $7 a month when the white man receives $13 a month. Finally, in 1864, the War Department sanctioned equal wages for black soldiers. On April 18, 1865, the Civil War ended with the surrender of the Confederate Army. With the ending of the Civil War came a new chapter to American history, which opened up the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery. Americans put behind that 250-year legacy and now face the future.